Welcome everyone to another West Fargo Public Library at Home Storytime Craft. So today I'm going to show you how to make these really cute butterfly puppets. My favorite part of these is that when you move them up and down, you can actually get the wings flat so it's like they're flying. So supply wise, um, there is a template that you can go ahead and print off. Looks like this. Um, you can also, if you don't have a printer, you can draw your own butterfly shape. Uh, you mostly just need wings and a body. Or if you can at least pull it up on a computer or screen, you can always very lightly trace it on paper and then draw it out from there. That's actually how I've done it a few times. Um, other than that, um, you there's two different ways to make this. You can color and cut out the template and that becomes your butterfly. Or you can use the template as a stencil and then you can have... Um, you can trace it on other pieces of paper if you have construction paper or colored computer paper or whatever you have at home. So you may need a pen or pencil. And then it's pretty much just scissors, glue of some sort. I prefer a glue stick, but either one will work for this. And then markers or any other coloring utensils of your choice. So let's go ahead and get started. I already went and colored my butterfly and cut the pieces out and we're going to go from there. So what you need to start with is actually folding the butterfly along each side. Once that's done, it gives us a really good strip um, for gluing the wings onto the body. So we're just going to take glue of your choice. I have just a glue stick here and we're going to glue down the middle and then attach it to the body. So the next step from there is to make some eyes. So if you colored your butterfly, you could have drawn the eyes in already. I did not. So what I'm going to do is actually use some of the scrap paper as just a way to kind of reuse material here. So I'm going to take a little section of it here and I'm just going to cut out, I'm going to fold it and cut out a circle so I'll end up with two of them. So this is a nifty way to kind of reuse your material so you can use another piece of paper, a different color, or if you happen to have googly eyes at home that would work out as well. So I'm just going to go color in some pupils on my eyes and then go ahead and attach them to my butterfly. Okay, so after the eyes, the next thing we need to do is make some legs. So you can set your butterfly aside. And I, again, I'm going to use up some of the scrap. And once you have your six legs and the paper of your choice, what we're going to do, if you need to, is color them. So I chose mine to be black like the butterfly's body, but you can go ahead and let your imagination go wild. Okay, now that our legs are colored, we're going to go ahead and we're going to fold them. It's really simple. You take your leg, you fold it in half, and then on one side you're going to fold it just a little bit, and on the other side a little bit more, because that's the side that's going to end up glued to the body of the butterfly. So. You're just going to go ahead and do that then to all six legs. And once they're folded, we're going to go ahead and get ready to glue them. Okay, next we're just going to go ahead and turn your butterfly upside down. And we're going to glue these legs to the body part of the butterfly. The only tricky part with this craft is you don't want to get any glue on the wings because you want them to kind of be able to flow and flap as much as possible when we're all done. So, oh, and there you go. You kind of have the shape of the butterfly done here with its legs and wings. We only have one more step that we need to do before our butterfly puppet is complete, and that's to put the strap on to make it a puppet. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and grab an, uh, another scrap piece, and it really doesn't matter how this looks. It just needs to fit the hand of the person who's going to play with the puppet.
that this is how it's going to end up. You just fold the ends and that's what gets glued down and you end up with like this little loop that you can go ahead and put your fingers in. Just gonna go ahead and put some glue at each end and that's the end that you fold down and attach to the butterfly. Now you're gonna wanna make sure before you play with this puppet that everything dries, otherwise it may fall apart. But as soon as that happens, you will have an awesome butterfly puppet and I can't wait to see your guys' examples. Thanks for watching.